waiting for the blinds to go up. Take your time. Take your time, hun. Take your damn time. We've got all day. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Tiff Levine and hey, how you doing? Happy Monday, happy fun day, happy leg day. Mondays are my favorite day of the week. I get to reset, I get to restart and it's also a leg day. Whether I'm at home or whether I'm at the gym, I personally like to start my week with some legs, you know, activate that tush. Am I right? Am I right? So today I thought I would take you through three exercises that will help grow, help feed, help nourish your booty. Considering Melbourne is in lockdown at the moment, I'm going to show you two options for each exercise. One will be an at-home version and one will be a gym version or like a weighted version because I know not everybody has weights readily available, but that is okay. The only thing you will probably need for this, um, but it's not 100% essential, is a resistance band and if you don't have one already I would just recommend buying one I promise you if you're focused on the gym if you're focusing on nourishing and growing your booty then this will help you out a ton let's get started on my top three exercises that will help you grow and nourish and make it so just peach you know grow it girl go and get it Bam. The first exercise is actually a range of glute activation. Grab your resistance band and off we go. We are starting off with some hip thrusts. So you want to make sure you're pushing through your heels, pushing your legs against the band and squeezing those glutes once you get to the top. You can also go on your tippy toes for an added challenge. Next up is some crab walks. Try and get as low as you possibly can. This is another glute activation exercise and is one of my favorites. We then have some side kicks. These are pretty self-explanatory, so it leads us on to exercise two. So the second exercise that is gonna help you grow and sculpt your glutes is goblet squats. You wanna make sure you are keeping a right angle when you squat down and that the weight is directly in between your legs. Make sure you have a straight posture and you don't need to have two heavy weights for this one. Just make sure they're heavy enough that it activates your hamstrings and your glutes as well. Bit of a double whammy if you ask me there. So if you don't have any weight, you can opt for this instead. The variation is sumo squats and then turning your leg in to create a side lunge. This is the front view. As you can see, I'm getting quite low and keeping that right angle within my legs. So I realized I completely stuffed up the numbering on this video. So this is exercise number two. These are split lunges, grab a box or anything you can rest your leg on and try and maintain that 90 degree angle. And if you don't have any weights, then you can enjoy some lunge pulses. Have fun. Last but certainly not least are some deadlifts. I call these pop lifts because your leg is sort of popped, you know, pop girl. Make sure you keep the weight as close to your leg as possible and maintain your posture. And if you don't have any weights, I promise you I made this look way more seamless than it is. Make sure you keep balanced on one leg and that it is continuously bent and this will activate the same area. And if you made it this far in the video, then congratulations, you deserve a medal. So let's continue. I am super excited because I'm starting a series on this channel called Top Tips with Tiff. Um, I thought it rhymed, I thought that was really cute. This series is going to be one video a week, which is purely dedicated towards health and fitness. And it is going to be basically my top tips to help you reach your health and fitness goals. Whatever they may be, it's going to change up every week. It may be a workout, it may be... Some, some of my favorite healthy eating. I don't know, it depends on the day. But I hope you guys really enjoy this new series. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. You guys know what to do because you've done it a hundred times before.